A reinforcement schedule is a plan that outlines how often and when a reward is given for a specific behavior. There are five main types of reinforcement schedules. Continuous reinforcement, fixed ratio schedules, variable ratio schedules, fixed interval schedules, and variable interval schedules. Let's explore each one. First is continuous reinforcement. Continuous reinforcement occurs when every instance of a desired behavior is reinforced. For example, giving a dog a treat every time it sits on command. This schedule is effective for quickly teaching new behaviors because the consistent reinforcement helps establish the desired behavior. However, behaviors learned through continuous reinforcement are more susceptible to extinction if the reinforcement stops. Second is fixed ratio schedules. A fixed ratio schedule provides reinforcement after a set number of responses. For instance, a factory worker might get paid for every 10 items they assemble. The benefit of a fixed ratio schedule is that it encourages high rates of response since the reward is based on the amount of work done. The limitation is that there may be a drop in motivation immediately after the reward is given as the next reward requires a new set of responses. Third is the variable ratio schedule. In a variable ratio schedule, reinforcement is given after an unpredictable number of responses. An example of this is gambling on a slot machine, where the player doesn't know how many plays it will take to win. The benefit of this schedule is that it tends to produce high and steady rates of response because the reward is unpredictable. The limitation is that it can lead to compulsive behavior and can be difficult to extinguish because the behavior is so persistent. Fourth is the fixed interval schedule. A fixed interval schedule provides reinforcement for the first response after a fixed amount of time has passed. For example, a weekly paycheck is given to an employee who works regularly. The benefit of this schedule is that it produces a predictable pattern of behavior with increased responses as the time for reinforcement approaches. The limitation is that there can be long pauses in behavior immediately following the reinforcement. Fifth is the variable interval schedule. Lastly, a variable interval schedule provides reinforcement at unpredictable time intervals. An example is a boss who checks on an employee's work at random times, rewarding them if they are found working hard. The benefit of this schedule is that it produces steady, moderate response rates because the timing of the next reinforcement is unknown. The limitation is that it might not produce the high rates of response seen with ratio schedules.